All right, uh, hello all. Um, this is in uh, Manjaro Linux, and I'm using uh, kernel 4.6. And I had a request on installing VirtualBox, maybe address problems. Um, some people may be having. I did try this on a, on a live USB where there was enough space to install VirtualBox and actually load an ISO, and it seemed fine to me. Um, if you're using the AgriMove software, maybe try the command line uh, so you get an idea what's going on. So with that said, uh, I set up my aliases uh, such as uh, pack for sudo pacman dash capital S to install. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to type in pack and I'll zoom in so you can see uh, VirtualBox. Now it's going to ask which host modules you want. Please do not use D, uh, DKMS. You don't need that. So if you're not sure uh, which Linux version, just uh, open another terminal, press Control Shift T, and just uh, type in uname dash R or dash A for a more complete. Uh, you can see it's four six. All right, so you go back to this one. You'd want Linux 4.6 virtual boxed host modules. Okay, so that would be option 11. So that one goes to 11. And just press enter and let it install. And I'll just wait for that to finish up. All right, so once it's finished, uh, make sure you have Qt4 installed. It probably is out from some other program, but if not, make sure. Uh, it just says to mod probe VBox DRV. Uh, I know in Arch Linux, these modules are loaded as a service, but I'm not sure if they are in Manjaro. So I'm just going to do a sudo mod probe VBox DRV. Oops, I'm sorry. Zoom in. DRV. If nothing comes back, then you're fine. To add yourself to use USB storage, you have to add yourself as uh, to the group of VBox users. So if you want to do that, just sudo G P A S S W D dash A is then your username and VBox. This is an arch, so I'm not sure of that a lot. Okay, so it is working. Let's uh, have access to USB if you get the uh, Oracle extensions through uh, the Arch Linux user repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to restart the system and come back and see if uh, it's the same case as Arch where the host modules are already loaded through a service. So I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so this is the XFCE4 version of Angero, so Oracle or VirtualBox, and we'll see what happens. So click new, um, I'll just do an arch thing, uh, and you can set up the way you want here. I'm going to give it 4 gigs, uh, it's going to leave the hard drive space as it is, and under settings, uh, if you want to uh, copy clipboard, we'll see if that works, uh, untick floppy. This is all what, you know, all this is, um, what your preferences are. Uh, so I'm just going to give it uh, 128 megs, the full RAM size, just one monitor, scale factor at 100%, and 3D acceleration. Storage is Arch VDI, which is the virtual hard, hard drive or whatever. And uh, pick an ISO file. Something I made. <coughs> Let me see. OB session. It doesn't matter. Just to see if this works. And uncheck that. Uncheck that. All right. Uh, we'll see what happens. And we notice here it says uh, KMV virtualization. So maybe it's already picked up. But we'll see. So just press start. Okay. So. All right. It doesn't like the. Uh, the sound but other than that it's because it's because I don't have pulse audio installed 
if this is one of the problems, um, let me know. Um, it doesn't like the audio module. All right, let's see if this will boot up. All right, uh, so this is an experiment uh, uh, ISO that I'm working on, and I just went through the uh, update process. There's close to 500 megabytes. In any case, you can see VirtualBox is running the way you would expect it to. Uh, you can scale the size of the window. Obviously, I've done that already. Um, Chrome Apps uh, Launcher is going away. Well, that's going to be a problem. So much for this project. And uh, in any case, this is VirtualBox running in Manjaro Linux uh, kernel version 4.6 uh, with the proper modules. That's all I can think of. Uh, you accidentally installed the DKMS. Maybe that's what's causing the problems, but as far as uh, my side, I don't see any problems with it. It seems to be running just fine. So I, I hope that helps you out. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel to add them. And uh, that should do it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.